if I was living in a beach town in Madrid or in the coast, I would probably not be skating right now. But since I didn't have a beach around, I used skating as a way to improve my surfing until I got hooked on skating. <laughs> After seeing skating videos, that's what inspired me to skate because I think just the variety and the originality of what you can do on a skateboard, that's what got me into it. One of the first videos I saw was the Coliseum with PJ Ladd and all that, that was insane. And then afterwards I saw the Paul Peralta videos, Kevin Harris and all these guys like skating totally differently and that made me think like it's not what I see of my friends skating, they all skate pretty much the same, but it's so like, there's so many things to do. You picture yourself doing something at a place. How can we use this environment? So I was basically just looking at a picture for hours and with my notebook here and like, okay, what can I do here? When we're about to make a video, I obligate myself to read these motivational quotes from like Bruce Lee and others before I make any video. These are just some just ideas about tricks that I picture in my head. Sometimes I just have it by my bed and I'm just about to fall asleep, but I, a trick comes on my mind and I just get the notebook and write it down. Non-sexation. <laughs> it's the same feeling of skating. And when you're thinking about skating and you have the spot here, it's the same thing. So it's actually really fun just looking at a picture of something that could be used as a skate spot and just letting your imagination flow through that spot. Like, it's all in your head, so you could be like, you're thinking and then like, oh, I could do this, I could do that on the flat ground. And then your mind goes like, oh, I actually could do it in this other place. And then you see, when you're studying the spot that you want to do, then it's like, oh, I actually thought about doing that trick and I could maybe uh, put that trick into this spot here. Some skaters, they put limits on their tricks, right? Oh, I don't want to grab my board, or I don't want to hit a wall. They, they already know how they want their skating to look like. Sometimes they try to copy the style, but some other times they just, they just copy the tricks, or they try to do a little variation of it. Like, my mind doesn't have any limits. So, like, when I imagine tricks, I picture, like, whatever, it's on the streets. I try to be free with my skateboard. <laughs> I, I know this, they see my skating and they see Randy Mullen like mixing street with freestyle. And since I'm doing that, they might think, oh, he's copying Randy Mullen. But the only fact is that I'm taking original Flatland tricks to obstacles. That's the only fact that I'm, and that's, so big that this is not copying someone. I, I never thought about that. When I saw his skating, and when I saw a lot of people skating, like I, I get inspired by their originality. So I see those guys and I'm like, oh, I like to be as original as they are, right? I never wanted to be a follower. I wanted to be able to do my own thing. I don't usually give up on tricks if I've seen it on my mind already. And sometimes you barely see it on your mind but you don't even know if it's possible. And sometimes I see it very clear on my mind and then I, I know I'm gonna do it. It's not like you're inventing a trick but it just feels great as something that you don't know if it's possible and you end up doing it through your own process. It feels great. Okay, look at a painter that is trying to paint his own painting. Like, there's a guy painting the pier, and there's a guy painting a tree. Why would you compare that tree with that pier? 
they they both trying to do their own painting don't compare it like just l let them do it if you dig it that's good if you don't he's still just doing what he loves so <laughs>